Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to 3D printing slash tech news. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first off, we have the Snapmaker U1. We have some updates and some pricing reveals. We've talked about the Snapmaker U1 color 3D printer quite a few times. It has four print heads, right? That's going to be the main thing about this printer that's unique. Now they did announce the price. The price is $679, but that price is only if and only if you put down the $30 deposit. So we talked about before how Snapmaker said, hey, you can go ahead and put down this $30 deposit and you're gonna save $100. Well, now we've gotten confirmation what that's actually going to look like. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna pay the $749, the same as everybody else on the Kickstarter, and then you're going to get $100 back after shipping. It does say reserve your spot with a $30 deposit, refundable at any time. The deposit reservation program closes before the Kickstarter launch. Back the U1 using the same email to access the launch only pricing and exclusive perks available on the first come first serve basis and receive $100 back. You get the $30 deposit plus a $70 bonus after your Kickstarter ships. So really you're saving $70 by putting down the deposit. So it does say that the MSRP is $999. With any Kickstarter, the price usually does go up significantly afterwards. However, I we don't know, right, until this actually comes out how much they're gonna be charging. But overall, $679 or even $749 plus shipping is not that bad for a multi-tool head printer. This is actually a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be in that $1,200 to $1,500 range, especially because there's no other printer on the market this affordable right now. Even if it was at $1,500, there's no other four tool head printer on the market. Now, maybe they're worried about some of the open source stuff coming and that's why it's priced in pretty low. But overall, this is really good. Now, again, it still remains to be seen. Can Snapmaker hold up their end of the bargain and make this a reliable printer? But overall, launching in late August, it says here on Kickstarter, it does already seem promised. Again, at $679, you have nothing to lose if you're already planning on purchasing this. And really, you don't have anything to lose because the $30 is fully refundable. I might actually go ahead and put down the $30 deposit, even though I'm undecided on if I want to pick this up. But honestly, I'm leaning towards doing it so that way I can just get it, test it out. It, again, it looks like a really promising 3D printer. Outside of the $30 deposit, it doesn't look like you would miss out on anything else other than that $70 discount. But again, you do have to wait until it ships. So you're going to have to front the full $749. Just, so just keep that in mind. And then later down the road, you'll actually get the $100 back, the $30 deposit plus the $70. Now, while we're talking about 3D printers and current printers on the market or coming soon, the Artillery M1 Pro has been one you guys have been asking me about over and over and over. And we really hadn't seen anything on the Artillery M1 Pro. It was supposed to launch in late July, but really I haven't seen them shipping out the printers in mass as of yet. But there are a few users that got them early. So we did cover that a user actually did a full unboxing of it. And they were in Thailand for the Artillery M1 Pro. And that user was, I can't even read it, like 3D Thailand happy. If you just search Artillery M1 Pro, they had a vertical video of them doing a full unboxing. Now there's another user by the name of B Goodson 2006. I will link his YouTube channel down below. Seems like a nice guy. I actually respond or wrote him on one of his videos and he responded back to me. I just wanted to reach out and say that the Artillery M1 Pro actually looked uh, pretty promising. So he has a full unboxing. It looks like it's just under 19 minutes, 18 to 19 minutes. And then he also has a first initial impressions video. So he does talk about how there are some software issues right now but Artillery didn't put out the software update until they, they were just holding off. They wanted to, it sounds like they wanted to fine tune the software update and kind of hold off as long as they could until they actually um, were actually supposed to be shipping the printers to users. He's actually not supposed to have it. A retailer messed up and they sent it to him early. Now, with that being said, it I basically my comment was just saying, hey, look, the Artillery M1 Pro looks pretty promising. And he agreed. Um, he has now since 
updated the printer and so far as far as what i could read on his comments he said it's performing pretty well so go ahead and check out his channel maybe write him a comment if you have any questions he'll be able to answer them um, it does look like he has been pretty responsive to pretty much everybody when you ask him any questions or any, or anything like that but that is another view at the artillery m1 pro until we can actually see some youtubers getting their hands on it and i don't know if that many youtubers are actually going to be posting full reviews and unboxings because honestly nowadays in the youtuber space they if they're not going to get it themselves they tend to actually just never review a 3d printer you know that i mean i can i blame them no but in the 3d printing space if someone's not sending them a printer i don't typically see it on their channels but i still i'm not that big and so i'm probably going to end up um, maybe one day picking this up, but he said, again, it looks pretty promising. Is it going to be some trouble for this Centauri Carbon? We'll see. Because if you do compare the specs on the Centauri Carbon and the M1 Pro, yes, the M1 Pro is $70 more expensive. However, it comes with some nice features. I believe the bed temp gets a little bit hotter. And also as well, one of the main things is that it has the active chamber heating. Now you can add active chamber heating to any 3D printer and it's going to not be that expensive so it's not something that's probably worth 80 dollars but at the end of the day the printer does seem to have a few other internal upgrades over the centauri carbon now if the artillery m1 pro starts performing and outclassing a lot of these other 3d printers i mean look out i know some of you guys don't like artillery as a company i personally haven't had experience with them yet so time will tell on how or what I think of this 3D printer. One thing is though, as well, it is a closed source printer that is running on Clipper. So I'm assuming that people are going to be able to, you know, jailbreak it or do what they do in the open source community. So moving on, we actually have some more exciting news from Bamboo Lab. It's the first of its kind. They have actually opened a crowdfunding section on Maker World. So on Maker World, they have people who are creating STL projects and you can choose to back them so for example i'm looking at one now it's called the urban tactical cruiser they're looking for a thousand dollar goal it's basically a batmobile and yeah it looks like you can add lights to it i don't know if that's just lens flares on the video but overall it seems to be a pretty good idea i mean it's going to avoid putting a lot of this stuff on kickstarter and it's going to get in front of people who are actually looking for paid models because right now on maker world everything is a free model it does the same thing as kickstarter it says you are estimated to get the files 10 days after the campaign i'm assuming that you're going to be able to change this one of the more interesting things was is i actually had one of these companies reach out to me i would say this was in may and i was like I wasn't quite sure if they were legit, if I'm being honest. And that's actually the Make Sense Studio. Now, I had never heard of them and they had told me like, hey, we are going to be launching soon. And I was like, okay, well, are, are you gonna be launching on Kickstarter? And they're like, no, um, it's something like Kickstarter, but we can't really give you any more details. I was like, uh, okay, uh, this is kind of sketch, but I still gave them my address. And you know what? Lo and behold, here they pop up. So I'm gonna reach out to them and get an update on that and see if they're sending me uh, that still. But outside of that, I thought it was pretty cool to see that I actually had the heads up that something was coming. I just had no idea. They did tell me even that they were working with Bamboo Lab. So I, I probably should have saw this coming. But again, there is some other cool stuff. There's like a modular lamp. There's this uh, skyscrapers terrain. There's this like dragon thing. Um, there's quite a few different cool files that you can back and support. So go ahead and check it out. The next thing is Bamboo Lab also launched a PLA Tough. So it's just a standard generic PLA that is supposed to be stronger, I guess. So one of the pictures they actually show is them using a pickleball and a racket. So yeah. Uh, or paddle, I guess, is what they're referring to it as. So it does say built to take a beating with stands repeating flexing and prints that last. Um, they also show some shin guards. They show a small aircraft. Um, they also have some mechanical properties that you can look at. It does have higher, a little higher heat resistance 
than normal PLA. It has quite a bit more strength than regular PLA and also more stiffness. So they're comparing it to Bamboo Labs ABS on there. Um, of course, not everything's gonna be the same as ABS, but it does seem like it can be somewhat comparable. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out on Bamboo Labs website. Again, everything that I talk about here today is going to be linked down below. And just a quick reminder, guys, if you are enjoying this video, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below what you guys would like me to discuss on Tuesday's episode. So moving into some tech news that I thought was rather interesting. We have the Osmo 360. DJI has launched this new camera, 360 selfie mode activated, right? So it is crazy what kind of portable cameras there are coming out with today. So if you're someone who's making one of those biking channels, one of those maybe snowboarding videos or channels, this looks like it would be a nice pickup. It's just crazy how good these small cameras can look nowadays. Only 183 grams. That is crazy, guys. Like, come on. It also has 105 gigabyte of built-in storage, stereo recording. Uh, it does last 100 minutes at 8K. 30 FPS. Can you even, re, you know, upload 8K to YouTube? I don't think so. Now, look, I'm not going to pretend and sit here to be a camera genius. I only know a lot from doing research before I purchased my own. But overall, this thing looks pretty cool. So if I were to ever do some vlogging type videos or if you guys were interested in some of that stuff one day as I expand and hopefully grow to multiple channels, it's something I would consider picking up. Now, the price on it is only $550, which I actually thought was relatively cheap. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll also link this down below. That is what we got here for the news for you guys here today. Remember, if you liked any of this, please comment down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. When it comes to the tech news, I'm still kind of learning and getting back into the swing of a lot of this tech as well. I'm really just sharing stuff that I find interesting at this point. If you guys would like me to dive further into any topics, I'm more than willing to sit down and learn. I'm still trying to learn a lot of the hardware specs parts of like the computer components, you know, graphics cards. I really only know the GTX series, like the 50s. Yeah, 50, 60, 50, 70, blah, 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 all that stuff. I know like as you get progressively higher, of course, they're better. That's pretty much the extent. Of course, you have their VRAM and all of that, but I I'm trying to learn a lot of that stuff as well, rather than just kind of give you the boring stuff. Um, I want to actually know what I'm talking about when I talk about launches. Um, and so with that being said, guys, I do appreciate you for watching again as we grow this channel. My goal by the end of the year is 10,000 subscribers and also to retire my wife by the end of next year. Outside of that, guys, I do appreciate you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.